Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a Wii controller, you know, the original Wii remote controller, up to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator for PlayStation 2 games. So, let me show you the controller right now. So, I've got a Wii remote right here, and I've got a nunchuck. Okay, so to connect it, go to your Bluetooth settings. As you normally would if you're using a different version or distro feel free to let me know and i can assist you getting into the bluetooth settings if you have any trouble there okay so what you want to do is put this into pairing mode and just take off the back and you, you see this button right here i'll just type something on the keyboard oh, let me go back to bluetooth yeah so you want to click this red button and these will lights will start flashing so you'll have like an audible click and this is in pair mode now. So your pop-up and Nintendo, there we go. It can sometimes take a few seconds longer. Feel free to wait, you know, it's fine. Click that and you'll connect in literally a second or two. So that's it. That's what you need to do to actually connect it up. As you can see, it's mapped in uh, controller one and we can connect the nunchuck as well. That's very simple. Just plug it in and we're all good to go. Okay, so now we can close this down, go to PCSX2, make sure this is closed when you first connect your Wii controller because you won't detect it if you have it already open. So if you do have it open and you connect your Wii controller, just close it down and reopen it. Whew. And what you want to do now is go to config, controllers and plug in settings. And here you just want to select your Wii remote, so, you know, there's bunch of different ones honestly the first one is fine you know it supports the nunchuck as well so that is fine go to clear there are a few little caveats which i will let you know one there's you know may not be enough buttons to fully configure it because the this button and this these buttons are actually the same so this is the same and these are the same, so you can't map them individually, but you can map the accelerometer as well if you really want to. Let's, so let's start mapping the controls. I'm gonna play tech, and so I need to be able to move. So I'm gonna use this to move left and right. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'll probably best if I have some sort of start and select. I want to do this for the minus and the plus. Make sure you keep your controller pretty still, because otherwise it will trigger the motion, as you can see right there, while you're doing this. Next, I need to be able to hit. So I will hit using this and this. So I'll do this one as circle do this one as x and i'll do this one for triangle and square so feel free to map extra controls as well this is all that i need for tekken so this isn't you know a 100 solution because you're limited with the buttons and the configuration of the buttons and some buttons are duplicated but you got motion out there as well so feel free to add that you could do it just as a one controller and try and hold it like that and try and map it if you want to what's great is if you, if you didn't hear that, let me try it again. It actually supports force feedback, which is fantastic. I know some controllers don't. So I'll click OK and apply or apply and OK. And select a game. I've got Tekken 4 selected. And now I'm going to fast boot to speed things up. I'm going to turn the volume down. I believe this was X. Yes, that was X. You did map this to the arrows. Let me go on to it. Config, controller, plugin settings. I did map it, but I do have down mapped. 
this one is not selected, so I'm going to go to Wizard. Go to this one. Yeah. Just bear with me. I just tried it with the Wii mode on its own before. And I'm just going to literally put map it on these two. Click OK, resume. Okay, yeah, that's kind of working, but uh, and then I'll find you this anyway. Okay, so that's a little caveat. Uh, so that means that if we have this selected, we can't use this controller. We have this collector, we can't use it, so we need to be we, we're limited. So, we it was going to use the Wii Remote on its own, so that is out of the question. And all we're going to do is have this. So, let me remap this. Uh, I'll do the arrows like this. Right, up and down, up and down. And then we'll do this for cross circle triangle I will do for a square I'll do for this button ah I triggered the motion and have I already done start and select yep already done that and we're good to go so click go back to it here Oh, it's not working. I probably have not configured it. Oh, where's up? There we go. Okay, so that's my bird. And here we go. Let's choose Steve. Let me just focus a bit on the controller. There we go. So Steve, if we use the kicks, he, that's just a block. So what we want to do is the punch. Yeah, but with the punch, he is lethal. Well, he's a boxer. The only time we can actually kick is, is if he's gay, no, which I, you know, I think kind of defeats the purpose. Or they're trying to guess, trying to say, you know, he's in such a bad position, he will go against his philosophy and actually kick. So that is. How you map the Wii controller? So yeah, that was a little caveat. You can't really use the nunchuck because as soon as you connect it, you can only use this or that one. If you use this, you're very limited in what you've got. You got two buttons. You got up, down, left, right, and some motion as well. With this, you got you know the four axis. You know the motion up, down, left, right. You got these buttons. You got quite a few buttons to get most games mapped. Obviously, this is a hundred percent solution. But you know, if you really, really want to play. PS2 games on your Linux machine using a Wii controller. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.